Buck for 142, and I turn left back to the uh, Charlie 8 on departure, maintain 15,000. Squawk 4771, left 42, squawk 4762. Squawk 41, up to uh, 15,000 on departure. Squawk 41, runway 2 left, line up away, traffic 6 mile final. Squawk 41, departure and cable indicates up, wind 3108, fly runway heading. Runway 2 left, first take off, change departure. One Seattle Center, go ahead with your request. One fly heading 050, what would you like for your altitude? Four one for train, maintain one seven thousand, fly heading zero seven zero. Four one fly heading zero zero five, fly maintain one seven thousand. Four one, are you a flight with Rock four two? Rock Rock four one, Roger. Number two four Papa Delta, we have a situation with uh, an hijacked aircraft that we're trying to deal with, and we have some jets scrambled. Uh, I'm going to need you to make a full stop. Can you make an RNF approach on way two into Bremerton? Uh, yeah, we can do that. Two four Papa Delta. Number two four Papa Delta, turn left heading two five zero. Can you guys just intercept the final approach for for runway uh, two at Bremerton? Actually, if you have Bremerton in sight, please let me know, and we'll do a visual approach there to a full stop. All right, we'll go 250, negative contact in the airport, two four Papa Delta. Two four Papa Delta, uh, yeah, it's just safer. We're clearing out all the airspace. That uh, aircraft that was hijacked is flying really low level, just all over the airspace, and uh, we're not sure exactly what he's doing. All right, that's on the two four Papa Delta. Uh, would we cancel on the ground? I mean, how long do you think it's going to be? Two four Papa Delta, I'm not sure. Um, again, it's not sure if they've just scrambled to go intercept, so I, I don't know. I'd say you can give me a call back in a half hour. Roger that, people. Papa Delta. Papa Delta, then maintain 2000, Bremerton Airport, 12 o'clock and under miles. Spot 401, request heading 340. 41 flight heading 340. 41 left, 340. 41, you're not going to an area of high train. I can give you as low as 8000. What altitude would you like? 41 request 8000. 41 descend and maintain 8000. 41 descending 8000. One four Papa Delta, you're two miles from Seabod, turn right, heading a three five zero, maintain two thousand full established on the final approach for your first beyond that runway to approach at Bremerton. Four one Seattle altimeter ten nine or five. Ten nine or five. Four one contact Seattle center three seven seven point one five. Center rock four one active air scramble into the descent eight thousand. Four one Seattle first Roger and the C pack altimeter two nine or nine or six. 41, do you uh, want vectors for the intercept? Rock 41, April is able to pull off the timber 29996. 29996 is what CPAC altimeter is. Rock 41, 29996. 41 uh, and 42, do you guys require vectors for the intercept? Rock Bay, uh, 41, April is able. Okay, and Rock 41, Roger, turn left heading at 305. Rock 41, left 305. Go for Rock 41. Rock 41, Great Towers, this uh, advised that that aircraft is directly over their airport at about a thousand feet. Hey, can I give a uh, bra? What's the distance from Henry? Rock uh, 41, I'm showing 12.3 miles. Rock 41. Rock 41, I'm heading at 300. Rock 41, descent of pilot discretion and maintain at 2000. 41 is at 2,500. He is going to turn northbound towards the Coma Narrows. He's currently uh, at 310 heading now. Rock 41, tally POI 1. Rock 41, request maneuvering as uh, desired to intercept POI 1. 41 and Rock 42, uh, maneuver as uh, needed. Rock 41, maneuver as needed. Channel Center, Rock 41, request Rock 42, altitude 6,000. Rock 41, uh, and then Rock 42, Roger, maintain that 6,000 approved. Channel Center, Rock 41, request a 5 nautical mile bubble around TOI 1. And Rock 41 approved as requested. Channel Center, Rock 41, I've already said uh, TOI 1 has been intercepted. Thanks, okay, Hagen. Rock 41, TOI 1 intercepted. Rock 41, Roger. Seattle Center, Rock 42. Rock 
4-2, go ahead. 4-2, request a bell bubble or empty line. Box 4-2, I affirm you want a 10-mile bubble, correct? Affirmative. 4-2, approved. 4-2, thanks. Box 4-1, approved. 4-2, approved. Let's go for Rock 4-2. Rock 4-2, uh, we're uh, requesting that you switch frequencies. Are you guys VHF capable? Yep, a VHF frequency, however, our VHF capability is very limited. Okay, stand by. Rock 4-1 and Rock 4-2, uh, the name of the pilot uh, of the hijacked aircraft is Rick, and they want you to contact approach on 119.2. Affirmative Rick. His name is Richard. Rick is what he's going by and 119.2. 119.2. Rock 4-1, Rock 4-2, uh, we request Rock 4-1 and 4-2 both push 119.2. Rock 4-1 and Rock 4-2 approach on 119.2. that he impacted the ground, he didn't, and he didn't impact on uh, water. Okay, Rock 4-1 and Rock 4-2 flight, you are cleared the flight level 200 and below, uh, within a 5 nautical mile radius of the crash site. He's all within 5 nautical miles up to 200. Rock 4-2 approach, uh, are either aircraft monitoring the VHF frequency 119.2? Before you do that, I have a helicopter that's over the crash site that we're wanting uh, to communicate with you. And he's on my VHF frequency. Uh, let me know when one of you guys can accept the frequency change to the my VHF frequency. So what is that frequency? Rock uh, four two approach on the one two zero point one. Four two seven twelve. And uh, confirm that you want us to coordinate with that helicopter. Affirmative. It's going to be two two, and he's over the crash site. Approach, just confirm you are up on 120.1. Hey, okay, thank you very much. Tell Senate Rock 4 1, what was the call sign of the Hilo? Say again. Rock 4 1, what was the call sign for the Hilo responding to the crash site? Pierce 2. Pierce 2 is the, it's actually a space mirror. It's Cessna 206 is at 2200 feet orbiting over the crash site, and the Pierce 2 is the call sign. Pierce 2, copy. Do you see any flames or is it just smoke? And that's here too. I understand you said you do have uh, the smoke on the island. Okay, thank you. And Rock 4142, uh, just uh, information there is a tanker that's holding over sea pack at 16,000 feet, 16,000 uh, for you if you guys need fuel. I can see we'll be coordinating here shortly. Here's to approach, uh, can you tell where the aircraft crashed, if it was an inhabited area, were there any homes or any structures? Rock 4-1 and 4-2 flight, the Boeing aircraft that's in route uh, for SeaTac is going to be at 20,000 feet just waiting, so uh, whatever you guys need, just let us know. Rock 4-1 copy, as you said, words from uh, controlling agency, that is not a refueling tanker. Rock 4-1, stand by. Del Center. Rock 4-1, request that stage in Altimeter. Rock 4-1, uh, CPAC Altimeter 29 or 9 or 8. 9 or 8. Rock 4-1 or 4-2, uh, what is your status on fuel? Rock 4-1 is about uh, 30 to 40 minutes playtime. Boeing company tanker that's in the airspace, he says that he is capable of refueling us it seems. Uh, we're not sure what your requirements are, and uh, we haven't heard anything about your tanker that's uh, at Fairchild. Rock 4-1 just got words from the command post that uh, tankers have taken off of Fairchild. Boom, for a uh, refueling. 4-2, approach, uh, we're zeroing in on the fuel status for saying 30 to 40 minutes. Rock 4-2, Four one or four two. Do you guys see any issues with the firefighting rotoring aircraft entering the airspace? Yeah, bye. Again for Rock four one. 
Rock 4-1, do you guys have any issues with a rotoring firefighter aircraft entering the airspace? He's not there yet, but we're just coordinating. Uh, Negative, just uh, let us know what um, altitude he's going to be at. 4-1, uh, welcome. Just to approach uh, the copy, uh, just we're going to need to know the altitude that the rotoring is going to be at once he uh, heads your way. 4-1, Rock 4-1. Chopper 7 is going to be operating in the course class belt there, so if he's heading out down that way there, he's going to be operating at 1,500 feet. Rock 4 one copies. 4-1 approach. Rock 4-1. We've got an Air, uh, Air 4, it's going to be at 1,500 feet, he's going to be out there as well, so that's right. 4-1 copies. For your, uh, clear to transition, uh, and actually you're clear to operate in the course class belt there, so he's going to be at Seattle Center, Rock 4-1. 4-1 Seattle Brooks, go ahead. Rock 4-1, uh, we have a gap. 4-1, uh, coming up 4 intercepting with us. We'd like to climb to flight level 270 so we can intercept him and uh, refuel over here. 4-1, Rock 4 Seattle Center, Rock 4-1. 4-1, go ahead. Seattle Center, Rock 4-1, request vectors to rendezvous with gas man flight. 4-1, Roger, and uh, where are they located at? Approximately zero seven zero four forty. Now, Rock four one uh, due to your altitude. There, once you go in contact Seattle Center on three four three point six, and uh, they should be talking to uh, to your refueler. Seattle Center, Rock four one. 